the last 10 here at Talladega. So the stage is set as Infinger takes the green. What a great push there. He nailed it. He wanted that 24 as a pusher to get him going, and it worked. But look at Lyons working over the back of Gilliland now. Got to be careful how far he gets out there. And oh, and around goes Infinger. Looks like Gilliland got in the back side of the 98. Hang on to it. No yellow, no yellow. Green is still out. Wow, Green is still out. There's damage to the 51 of Gilliland. Justin Haley in the front. I don't think that tire will make it. Timothy Peters in second. Myatt Snyder now comes up, bangs doors with Peters. Snyder in the 13. Noah Gregson right there in the 18. And here comes Brett Moffat in that damaged 16 on the outside. David Gilligan's going to lose that right front tire and clean these guys out. Justin Haley, a two-time winner this season. Myatt Snyder in second, has yet to win in the Camping World Truck Series, and he's right there in position. Noah Gregson in the best spot. He's been all day in third. Two wide behind the top three. Coming through the tri-oval, and when they cross the line, there will be four laps remaining. Four to go at Talladega. And Michael, I feel like that Myatt Snyder there in second place in that 13 truck, he has been a very, very aggressive pusher all day. Uh, Justin Haley, we've seen him have contact with the tough trucks. You see the right front tore out, torn off him. But that 13 truck has been an extraordinary pusher when he's behind you. Timothy Peters, the lead truck on the outside. Matt Crafton just barely above the cut line. Here's a move by Gregson to the high side. Gillen goes to the bottom. I can't believe that Goodyear tire hasn't blown out, but it's not smoking anymore. I guess it clears itself. Great move by Gregson, caught the energy, and now Noah Gregson and the high line is moving to the front. Bottom line is falling apart there. You saw the 51 truck of David Gillen pull out and the whole bottom line just fell apart. Ben Rhodes in third. It's Gregson, Peters, and Rhodes. Remember, Rhodes still on the outside of the cut line. Can they make it three laps without wrecking? Where do you want to position yourself coming to the white flag, Kevin? Do you want to be leading or, or in this gnarling pack? I want to be leading because that pack it, it is, there's a lot of aggressive drivers right there trying to figure out how they can make up ground to get to the front in a hurry. Noah Gregson has won the most stages this season. He's led the most laps. He's been a dominant truck at times, but he's just won one race. But now he finds himself out front at Talladega. How important is the draft? Look at that truck in the third spot there. That's Ben Rhodes. He's a lap down, but he's fighting for his playoff life. Well, and that's very important, Michael. If they do have a caution, he wants to be the lucky dog. And right now, he's in that position to be the lucky dog. Two to go. One racer in Matt Crafton's on the sidelines, praying for no caution. Ben Rhodes needs one. Rhodes in third. He's the first driver out. Oh, man. Friesen off the road, he needs to give that spot up. Yeah, Rhodes is a lap down, but he's third in line there in that green 41. Whoa, no, Gregson no. was up off the bottom and Peters almost took advantage of it. And let's not forget, Michael, Timothy Peters has won races here before. He's, he's very good and very experienced at super speedway racing in the 25 truck. Noah Gregson trying to keep the pack behind him. Coming to the line and getting the white flag. One to go. Justin Haley with a big push from the 51 of David Gilliland. Side by side, Haley and Gregson. Some contact with the 25 of Peters. And Gregson goes around. And we're wrecking. And they're wrecking at Talladega. And Peters was ahead when we saw that caution. 
Timothy Peters, a two-time winner at Talladega. And Noah Gregson sits in disappointment. Well, I think so. And Timothy Peters will get his third Talladega win. So disappointing for Noah Gregson. Was in position trying to hold them off. And there's Jerry Baxter. He and Peters working together. A couple of veterans. <laughs> Baxter said we got the fastest truck in Alabama, Michael. I can promise you that if we can just survive. NASCAR will be looking at the video to make sure when the moment of caution was, who was leading the race, and probably also reviewing how Peters had to go off the track. Okay. Awesome job, man. I'm sorry I let us down on that initial start. Oh, my goodness. It feels so good. Let's just confirm from NASCAR. T Timothy Peters declared the winner in just his fourth race of the season. For so long, a full-timer in the truck series. Lost his full-time ride. And today he gets his third victory at Talladega. <laughs> that was incredible. Some contact there between Peters and the 24. Of Justin Haley and then eventually into the back end of the 18. And Timothy Peters. Wins for the 11th time in his career. Had some good momentum to the back of Gregson and just hit him off center and around went the 18. And it just doesn't take much. And, and you could just feel, you know, the, the energy building as, as we got there towards those last couple laps, really last six or seven laps there. And these guys just all started pushing and shoving. And, and you see Peters go up there and Gregson went to block him. I mean, he was trying to win the race and, and wound up getting himself crashed, but there's no fault of his. I mean, he was doing what he had to do to try to win and he had to block. Watch it for the on, from the onboard of that 18 truck. 24, don't let me split you. Keep the pink, lay it up, quarter lay it up. Keep it pink, keep it pink. And get it rolling here when we can. 